The day of the date with Mana has arrived. After talking it over with Mana, we decided to meet someone outside to make it feel more like a date. That, uh, ostensibly. So she left the house first and is waiting for me. Everything's going according to Kokora's plan. But I'm nervous. Probably because this is my first time. Oh my god, this is my first time doing something like this. Thanks. And, uh, uh, right. Are you sure it's not your incest talking? What's that supposed to mean? Did I really need that map? Let me finish speaking. Hello. Kakura. Thank you. <laughs> Kokoro fi happily flashes me a V for victory. She really does care about Mana and I. I don't know how I can ever repay her. But I'll make sure her feelings don't go to waste. Anyway, time to go. I arrive at our rendezvous playing to the, the park. I look around but don't see Mana. Did she stop by somewhere? Oh well, Kokoro said being late for a date is an absolute no. She said that being late is acceptable but only after going on several of them and doing it intentionally as a surprise. Just like Mana's birthday. I can't pass this up. Hmm? What's it? Something's covering my eyes from behind. Sap palms. That's me through and rich scent of aloe's wood. Take like my nose. The familiar scent of perfume applied to the wrists and neck. It's mana, no doubt. No, no, no doubt about it. So why is she covering my eyes? It's a surprise, you fool! Da -de -da. Well, does she think she's fooling me? It's so obviously her. No, wait a minute. Maybe she's reenacting a scene from a shoujo manga? It's possible. Mana would never do something like this on her own. I can only imagine she got the idea from some manga. Meaning, the right choice would be for me to play along? Just like this manga? I'll oh, stop her thank you, you little baby. So be it. Thank you. Hmm. Who oh, indeed? I don't know. I'm scared. So the heroine no hoga you said if an Uh crap, I screwed up. Nemo, put on the Makoto Karawa. Nana smiles coolly under the brilliant sunlight. She quickly takes my hand. I promptly hold it back. Did I keep you long? No, that was honest. The old man probably would never said would never said anything like that. So I'll be honest too. Me, me, me too. I was so excited I barely slept that last night. Well, now I was just played the part in that too. The anticipation for the date outweighed that. <laughs> Even this conversation feels like part of a standard date. It makes me embarrassed and ticklish all over. Shall we go then? We make our way down the side of the road hand in hand. Pleasuring uh, each step we take as much as the last.
we slowly walk to the park. Perhaps it's because it's still earlier. There are no children around. Just a dog's jogging and elderly people chatting on benches. What is? いつもの道だし、いつもの風景なのに、誠がデートに誘ってくれたっていうだけで、こんなにも気持ちが弾むなんて。you and me both. The day plan Kokoro came up with was for us to make new discoveries on the same roads we take. There isn't anything particularly special about it. We're just taking talking as we still buy the usual experience. And yet it already feels so much more fun. I'm getting a little embarrassed though. The man and I have known each other for a long time. My heart's pounding like this is the first time we've walked together. Is this what dates do to people? I'm not sure, but I'm glad Mana feels the same way. It would have been so humiliating if it were just me. We look at each other and flash bashful smiles. This really is my first date. I've been to this park a number of times already, yet I've discovered a lot of new things from this walk. Like how all the trees lining the road are all cherry blossom trees. They must be beautiful in spring. Sakana. Hmm? Now, Wow. Really? Where? Don't see it. And it points to a running river. There is a fishing there? Even though it's man made? You're right. I wonder what it is. It's a river, so carp maybe? Mana walks over to the fence by the riverbed and leans forward. Oh really? This place is more like untamed nature than I thought. I never would have noticed if I didn't take the time to stroll through here. I never knew that Koi could jump, but that's probably out of my thing. Mana? Mana leans even farther forward and carelessly reaches towards the river. Be careful. Otherwise, I might push you! I clearly grab Mana from behind to stabilize her. You shouldn't do that. You could fall in and give Makoto a very wanted uh, fan service. Although not me, no. But I don't blame Mana for getting so excited. That I want to mind share up the mountain streams back in the village. Then again, we used to play in them without the care in the world when we were children. So she probably would have been okay even if she fell in, but still. Sure would it be embarrassing if you fell in at your age. And it replies like a child who just got scolded. Yet. Uh oh. Did I hurt their feelings? <laughs> I hurt! Ah! If you get to the front of the front, you'll be able to get out of here. You can't do it again. Wait, what's... that's what mattered her? Well, I don't think it's all that much different from how we usually hold each other, is it? Should I let go? Dame. Nana grabs my own arms. Well, whatever the case, I'm just glad she's not in a bad mood. Oh, are you now? She's so cute when she pout like that. But I think I get what she's saying. Mana's always the one making the first move on me, so it catches her off guard when it's the other way around. Guess I should start taking the initiative more often from now on. Right up until she uses Kudadama to make me not do that anymore, probably. Let's stay like this for a while. Mm -hmm. We are the main as we are while we enjoy the rush of the river and the occasional leaping of koi carts.
We leave the park and embark on another stroll? It's very hard! So, yeah. But, I'm not sure how to get this. She used to wear herself out all the time after it starts snowing on her. But now that I think about it, she's been doing mostly fine recently. Her after stamina she exhausted the musical Tidama has returned to her. Yeah, you mean to eat? Yeah. Nana walks over to a flower bed by the roadside. Many summer flowers are in bloom there. It may have been grown artificially, but all the flowers and greenery are out here is one of the town's highlights. It's not the untamed wilderness of the village, nor is the jungle of concrete and steel of big cities. There are mountains and lakes here too, as well as flowers on the side of their own. I see. いつも一緒にいたいという気持ちはずっとあるのだけれど、今は少し違うの。I thought you said I still want to be your flower. And that would have sounded cute. I mean, this is cute too. まことといると何かしら新しい発見があってもっと知りたいと思うようになっているわ。まことが楽しいと思うものを一緒に楽しみたい。Dana. <laughs> so, whenever you go to the beach, we all dance again. What do you mean? So, Now it points to a cake shop with a white tent illuminated by the sunlight. <laughs> Not suggested, but warned you, huh? <laughs> Why? Are they bad? <laughs> ah, that explains the warning, I guess. Oh, so that's why she warned you, so you wouldn't get fat. So, so. それで、そんなに美味しいのかと思って、誠に内緒で食べてみたの。読みたい漫画の最新作が売っている本屋でしょ。夕日が綺麗に見える二丁目の石畳の小道。全然知らない人の家の庭だけど、井戸があってね。そこでいつもトマトやスイカが冷やされているの。だと思い出して好きだわ
まことがそうだったようにね。Exactly. I'd like to go to this cake shop you spoke so highly of. 本当じゃあまた今度連れてってあげるわ。Sounds good. Mana gives me a bashful grin and she faces forward and takes off again. It's not by Coconut's favorite crepe shop on the way. Mana gets a blueberry melon cream creep. I get a melon soda topped with a vanilla ice cream.、Mm. We try eating as we walk. Drinking、mm. or walking is rather difficult. Oh, no. <laughs> でも美味しい。Well, it's meant to be brought the drink with us. Excuse me. I don't know you can eat drink creeps, but alright. I don't know, let's take out the water. Yeah, you've got that right. Characters in Shoujo Manga make it look so easy. They even roll while. roll. run while doing it sometimes. It's amazing. I don't know how to do it. We suddenly come to a stop. This isn't walking and eating. Now we're just standing and eating. <sighs> Nana laughs. The carders chirp loudly. The air blows through the trees as we pass through the deserted road and arrive at the shrine. And I wipe some sweat off her forehead. Yeah, use my handkerchief. I'm like, I'm gonna try to dry my own self. I'm good. Wait, please. Getting one from a guy every now and then won't hurt. And that's right, the breeze feels great. And the cicadas have quieted down. Oh, they have. いいところね。It's best to throw nice too. この町に、マコトと一緒にいられてよかった。なな？うん。何 ？Uh, nothing. For some reason, my heart stirred a little. Must have been my imagination. Nana takes my hand. I hold hers tightly. I just stare out at the scenery until we grow tired of it. We return to Aragami in the evening. I do like to think this means that the date has safely concluded. Would it do be insensitive to ask her how the date went? I had fun, but I'm sure Mana did too. Enoshikatta. Now. Didn't expect to hear that from her. Thank goodness. Me too. Let's do another one. <laughs> Mana smiles and nods. And then. 実はね、もう一つ行きたい場所があるの。Huh? 湖。Ah. But didn't didn't we just pass by there on our way back? Um. Then let's go back again. Hmm? Nana shows me her smartphone. The screen reads fireworks show. Huh? There's a fireworks show at that lake? So, Nana, Makoto to match us is still looking in case I could start a little bit. I had no idea. Coco ni kite are ba? My toss kono hiva, I made a nagarite itan da kedo. 今年は珍しく晴れたから急遽行うみたいね。So that's why we didn't see any flyers or ads about it. 三年ぶりみたいよ。Hmm. Wow, that's a long time to go without holding it. 私花火がどんなものか見てみたいわ。Me too. Fireworks, huh? I know that there are balls filled with gunpowder that explode in the night sky, or tin sticks that emit sparks at their ends、uh, used in,、uh, in the summer. But I've never actually seen one. Naturally, we didn't have any in the village. 
My knowledge of them comes from my secret stash of manga and magazines. And they have enough of them to hold the show for them. May I see this? Huh? I got a text from Pokora. What? It say? But I don't know, we have to have to check. You're a for doing it, this dirty gold! Thanks! Even those who live here weren't aware of it. This is gonna show how much Jerry resigned themselves to never seeing it again. It's Kokura. She told me about the fireworks show. Sounds like she's surprised too. Mana laughs. What's that? Hmm. I see. So that's why. Nearing clothes are not used to sounds exactly like the kind of thing you do see on a date. Then I do like for us to do the same. Fortunately, Matt and I have our own yukata from when we left the village. So that won't pose a problem. Then we should get changed now. I'm so happy that it isn't over yet. What's more, I get to see something completely new on top of it. I'm looking forward to this. We change into our yukatas and arrive at the lake. There's already a large crowd of people. Food stands are lined up around the lake. As well as security guards to ensure people can watch the fireworks in peace. The guards we saw during the day were devils setting up for the festivals. Incidentally, asuki san was also excited, seeing this event as an opportunity to attract customers to Origami. Kokura said she would drop by with Hotara to watch once she finished helping asuki san I can't imagine how quickly they must have scrambled to put all this together, considering it was so last minute. I guess they really do prepare for this every year. Probably to ensure there's no mass confusion or chaos. But anyway... Huh? Huh? What? What? You're beautiful, Mana. You really do look good in a kimono. Heck yeah. <laughs> when we were back at the village, huh? Have our days living there really faded into not but distant memories? I still don't know if it was good or not to leave the village and start a new life here. But there's no greater happiness than being together with Mana like this. This was all thanks to Kokura, asuki san and Hotaru. I don't know how I'll ever pay them back. Which is why I believe I should explain to Mana how everything up to this day came to be. Nana, I need to tell you something. Nanikashira. It was actually Kokra who suggested our date. Eh? I tell Mana about how I explained my feelings for her to Kokra, how I apologized, and how Kokra decided to support us after our uh, much consideration. Anokoa. Nana's speech smoldered into a knowing look as she grins wryly at Kokura's meddling. Did you notice how Kokura was struggling? そりゃ、同じ人を好きになった者同士だから、当然よ。でも、私が心の立場だったら、あんな笑顔になれない。デートプランを練るなんて、そんなこともできないわ。だから。Huh? Why? I'm not sure I follow. いつか心が私を羨んだように、私も心を羨ましく思っている。そういうことよ。Is that what they call asking for the moon? Oh, I get it. I don't. 
She's saying she doesn't hold a candle to Coconut's purity, honesty, and generosity. Now that I do get. Yeah, I'm no different. Wait, let me get back to the moon thing. Oh, uh, actually, I do. <laughs> Nana looks up at the sky. The fireworks haven't been launched yet. Mana says, by days reflect the canopy of stars above, looking moist as though she were crying. We are grateful for, for Kokura's empathy. でも、これで好きでしたわ。よかった。ずっと気になっていたから。誠は本当はまだ迷っているんじゃないかって思ってた。マナ。ありがとう。誠。きちんとけじめをつけてくれて。I'm sorry for worrying you. I pulled something I've been planning to give Mana for a while out of my sleeve. Mana, I swear I will only love you for the rest of my days. Makoto. I show her a small square box I had up my sleeve. Nani? What are I gonna propose? To her? I open the lid. Inside sits a plain ring! Eh? Mana stares at it with surprise and wonder. This ring is a symbol of my unwavering love for you. Outside the village, it's a, a custom to give a ring to the one you pledge your uh, eternal love to. In other words, your fiance. So I'm giving this to you. Truth to, to be told, I wanted to get her one of those pricey diamond rings, but this was the best I could manage. I wanted to give her a physical symbol of my love for her. So I went through hell and back until I managed to obtain this ring. I take the ring out of the box and slide it on Mana's left finger. Huh? The, is this the physical manifestation of Mana's excitement or the fireworks? <laughs> 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 it sounds loud enough to rumble the pit of my stomach booms all around us. Sparks run through the dark night sky, blooming into a multicolored flower. The spectators start sharing. A few seconds later, the flower scatters with a crackling noise. Another great boom soon follows. The flower like uh, around dead blossoms in the sky. Thank you for starting from the boobs. And then the happy cuteness. So these are fireworks. Sugoi. That's yeah. mana. Mana is the pure manifestation of fireworks, of course. The air continues to roar with the blooming of flowers. So bombastic. So fleeting. That an Applicable loneliness that falls after they give up their final shine. These are fireworks? How elegant. <laughs> and a hole is a ring up to the sky. A firework bursts past her hand. <laughs> Thank you for accepting it, madam. Mana's eyes dampen again as she looks at the ring. Well, maybe the fireworks? I can't tell, but they're pretty all the same. A surge of relief washes over me. I give her, uh, uh, the Mana her engagement ring. Deep down, I was a nervous wreck. I had no idea what I was going to do if she refused it. Nana lowers her head and looks me in the eye. Ichido, 
一緒に住んでしまっている一度帰らないとマナ他の里の人たちもまだあなたを探しているはずだからもうその必要はないことを伝えるわそれとその人たちに誠が里の外で生活することを認めさせる必要もある Then I'll come at you and help. ダメよそんなことをすれば言霊を使って誠が説得されてしまうわ Won't they do it the same to you? 里にとどまるようにね She's right. With my Kotodama being as weak as it is, it, it, would, it would be a cinch for those more skilled to use it than me. But I'm worried about you going back alone. It's okay. I won't be And that gives me her, her most serious look yet. Kanarazu modot de Kurkara. Matte. She isn't using Kotadama. She's imploring me with her own words. So, this was what caused the unease that stirred my heart earlier. We can't keep ignoring the village forever. Mana left in order to bring me back, so she do have to return someday. The reality I wanted to deny, wanted to forget, is now staring me in the face. I doubt I can change her mind now that it's made up. As she said, she can't just tell them nothing. That will just make things worse. If any of us, uh, if any of their villagers find the, uh, finds us, they'll probably use Kotodama on us without hearing us out. That's why Mana is going back to set thing, uh, uh, things straight. For the both of us. Alright. Promise you'll come back, Mana. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Mana and I kiss as the night sky bursts around us. May say we're for it as long as possible, knowing the moment the part will signal our temporary separation. Oh, credits! I they can skip that. I guess that uh, this is practically the end, so... Uh, a morning like every hour begins. My classmates are excitedly talking about games and what was on TV yesterday. I glanced at the seat next to me amidst all that. There's no trace of the woman I love to be found there. No one pays any heed to the empty seat. No one knows about the girl who's supposed to be there. What are you Good, she gives me an inquisitive glance. It's only then I realize I'm touching the adjustment desk. Erotically. Nothing, just thinking. Tokidoki Henna Koto Sirna, oh my. Genki Monai Mitai Dakedo, Daisoboka? Yeah, I'm the picture of health. <laughs> Nanda Sode. Kaichi smiles brightly at my unexpected answer. She, he, he shakes his head, breaks a desperation at my attitude, and gives me gives the desk next to me in a quick look. Give me a moment. I'm a little bit bothered. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a blog. But it's not so important for some whatever reason on the top on uh, the whiteboard. Alright, that's definitely one month. You know what? Let's finish my road on this very episode. Eh? Good question. I want it now. Sorry to more Maybe we'll, get, we'll, we'll be getting a transport student. The desk isn't empty because Mana was there. It's, it's been reserved for when she comes back. For some odd reason, that's the impression I get. 
あの、まことくん、おはようございます。Good morning, キワ君。キワ君 gives the empty desk a fleeting glance and heads for her own seat. そういや、昨日のあれ、見たか面白かったよな。Gracie starts talking about the TV show. I didn't see it, so I just get on some mag replies. I end up putting my hand on the desk next to me again. Stroking it very gently. And I heard classmates look at me very, very weirdly. I think back on the last few days. When I woke up, Madame was no longer in bed with me. So she returned to the village, huh? She just told me she was going back to the village to set things straight, but she didn't say when she was leaving. She must have left in the morning. No. In the middle of the night. I'll have to explain things to Azuki san and Kokoro. But I managed to use Kotodama on the both of them. As such, they both forgot about mana completely. I hurried on over to school with Kokoro after we finished downing our breakfasts with barley tea. You didn't have to wait for me, you know? Oh, fine. But you're too slow, Kokoro. I'm going to beat you there. Wait! No. The girl walking ahead looks back at me. It's Hotaro. Good morning, Kotaro. Makoto san, ohayou gozaimasu. Ore? Kokoro, kyo ni chok ja nakatta ke? Hotaro! Nani uen mada koko ni? Isoi de hashitte kita nda yo. Yeah, later. Kokoro races past us through the school gates. Because I woke up late, I told her to go on ahead so she do make it, but she's stubborn as an ox. Totoro nods to herself. Not today. そういう意味ではなく、いなくなったんですよね。え、huh? you know? 今朝早く、マナちゃんに会いました。いなくなるから、自分のことは忘れててくれって。せっかく誠さんとくっついたと思ったのに、一体何があったんですか地は喧嘩 ?I s a i d No. So? I explained to Hotaru what happened. How I chose Mana despite knowing how Kokoro felt. How I apologized to Kokoro. How I told Mana about that. How we swore our eternal love to each other. And then. Naruhodo. Kejime o tsuke ni. Makoto san tachi ga sundae ita sato ni kaeta no desu ne. I don't know if there's something in understanding. It's kind of weird that, uh, it's kind of weird how you use the Kodadama to make people forget. Instead of just telling that uh, she uh, has urgent business or something, but she will return at some point. Mm -hmm. Oh well. And I met up with you to erase your memories of her, didn't she? Eh. Demo, gozonji no tori. Hotaru ni wa Kodadama wa tsuyou shimase. Yeah. <laughs> Did Mana see anything? I see. I, I smell a little. That sounds like Mana, alright. I see. I smell a little. That sounds like Mana, alright. I see. I smell a little. Hotaro. Hey, Mana-chan's 存在を忘れるなんて難しいですよ
、実際、今までの思い出があるんですから。At that bottle of shoulder? でも、また必ず戻ってくるんですよね。Yeah, she promised. じゃあ、信じて待ちます。戻ってきたら、初めて会ったふりしなきゃ。今から練習しておきますね。What? You mean for pretending you've never met her? はい。<laughs> My heart aches with yarning at hot to assertions. Man, I went to pursue the villagers on my behalf. So I decided to have faith and wait for her. But I miss her all the same. I need to be strong. Nothing, just talking to myself. I said goodbye to Hotaru and reached my classroom. Apparently, the man I used to cut the dam on everyone there is now on Peter Empty and see the any heat. Ah. I questioned everyone just to be safe, but not a single one of them remembered her. So she went back to the village after making sure everything was set for her own return here. However, it felt a little lonely being the only one who remembered her. Especially after all we did here together. I looked at the desk next to mine. She used to be here. I'm sure of it. I'm not crazy. Sitting right next to me, clinging to me with a satisfied smile. And in other people's perspectives,、uh, very incestuous. A ring shone on my left ring finger. The bear today against me, ring I gave mana. I'll wait for you, mana. Ah, so she. left that ring for you until she returns. I'm almost done that we're gonna end it right there and then. I'm on my hand after the desk. Could she's chatting up a storm with his other friends? Kyoko's leaping through a buck. Everything's just the way it was before Mana showed up. Mana connected with me and everyone else. Mana was always popular and at center of attention. Though she only ever showed interest in me from the day she suddenly transferred in. It was never a dull moment with terror around. And gradually she grew accustomed to that atmosphere. Then the snow faded away and she began to change. She became interested in what lay outside the village. She grew to love this town. Mana, come back soon, please. When you do, have fun with everyone here again. The bell rings and the homeroom teacher enters. Everyone hastily returns to their own seats. Morning homeroom is as languid as always. However, the teacher's final announcement catches my attention. We'll be getting a new transfer student tomorrow. What? The classroom is a stir of matters. My own heart dances. Could it be? Not soon. In class, the school ends, I hastily pack up and rush out the classroom. Quichi invited me to hang out just before I left, but I turned them down naturally. A transport student's coming in tomorrow? It has to be Mana? Nana's back? She must be waiting for me at the Aribe house. My heart dances uncontrollably as I swiftly make my way back home. Ah, Nisa! Okari! Hi! After we get home and she changes into casual clothes, Mana wastes no time approaching Asuki san after the cafe closes. Good to be back, Kokoro. Is there a wet stir for me? Huh? Hmm? There isn't. Nisa no shiriai? Hmm? I d o Really? It's not Mana? So that transport student is someone else altogether? Great, now I feel like an idiot for jumping the conclusions. Nisan, are you okay? If you don't know the people who are talking to you, what's wrong with you? No, 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 it's nothing like that. I just wanted to see them. That's all. Are you coming here soon? 
That's the idea, anyway. Ooh, 早く来るといいね。兄さんの知り合いなら私も会ってみたい。Yeah, I'll be sure to introduce you too. Got his words calming down a little. 落ち込んでいる兄さんに朗報。Mm-hmm. Hmm. 今お店にね、すっごい美人なお客さんが来てるよ。Really now? ちらっと見てきたら、きっと落ち込んだ気持ちも治るよ。あ、でも、ちらっと見るだけだよ。電話番号とか聞いちゃダメだよ。Do I really look like a pickup artist? <笑> Yes. Let's look at Kakura's hair with a right smile and enter the cafe. Thank you for selling with the legs <laughs> first. It's Mana. Mana is in the cafe! She's sitting in her usual corner with her legs crossed, reading manga. Ah, Makoto, o k a i Nana slowly looks up. Our eyes meet, then she smiles gently. <laughs> Nana tries to stand up, but I run over to her before she can.、Uh, I lean right over her. I think、uh, the hand she's trying to close the manga with into my own. While、well, my face is going into、uh, somewhere else. If this is a dream, I don't want to wake up. Mana. Makoto! Raise to each other and then we kiss as naturally as breathing. It's not loud or rough like it usually is. We're quiet. Oh, so quiet! The gift is deep and kind. It, each of us seeking to confirm this is reality. And I wrap her arm around my back and stands up. Makoto! She lovingly calls my name. Welcome home, Mana. Tadaima! I t a k a t a Me too. Her voice, her scent, her feel. Geo Ford's game driver ready is a way of bull. My Mana is back, no doubt about it. Sube de Uma Kuita. Watashi to Makoto wa koko de krasser. I can't imagine just how much effort it took for her to convince them. My love for her grows even stronger with that thought. Thank you, Mana. My heart is forever yours now. <laughs> of course. So I fill my voice with all my sincerity and love I can muster, turning my words into a vow. I love you, Mana. Just then. No! Oh wow, really? I don't know. Anyways, I'm not back to hug now. a s u k i s a n d the Kokura are in a frenzy. <laughs> Not that I don't understand, but their memory is a mana gun. It must look like I've just started hugging a random stranger out of nowhere. No wonder they're panicked. But I don't plan on letting her go. Nor do I plan to look away from her. Well, not until the police is going to be called. Because mana is my. It's alright. Her arms still around me, Mana speaks to them not with Kotodama, but her own words. God damn it, why did the guitar stop playing the moment I finished? Ah! <sighs>